Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite. This is one of the most popular X570 motherboards. Let's see why. This board is certainly subtle and sleek with its design philosophy, a trend we appreciate in the more higher-end segment of the market. The design language is inconspicuous, mostly in part due to the all-black PCB. There's a bit of stenciling near the audio and heatsink sections. Aorus branding is visible on the rear panel cover. All of the heatsinks on this board feature a brushed aluminum finish. Moving on, the sleek design is further complemented by the excellent RGB implementation. The LEDs are visible beneath the shroud and VRM heatsinks. A small strip runs along the bottom of the board, providing an interesting soft underglow. The board is not just a looker in terms of design, it's also highly functional. For example, you get access to hardware buttons for power and reset. The on-off button is a bit wobbly and might be the only part of the motherboard that feels cheap. That's barely an issue, to be fair. The board is quite durable, as it features a durable PCIe armor, meaning the full-length slot is protected by metal shielding. In terms of power delivery, this motherboard is a 14-phase VRM design. The 12 plus 2 configuration deserves a lot of credit here, as it is excellent for a budget motherboard. It can easily handle any Ryzen CPU and is ready for Ryzen 5000, even with overclocking. That's quite impressive on its own. But it does not end there. In terms of performance, this motherboard holds its own against some of the pricier options out there. Quite impressive. Memory overclocking could be a bit better, but it's not a bad trade-off since you can still achieve 4000 MHz speeds with ease. Anything above that is just bragging rights in all honesty. All in all, this is a very impressive motherboard for the price and one that is hard to beat. That is the only reason it managed to secure our Editor's Choice Award. However, we couldn't make the BIOS flash feature work for some reason, and the Gigabyte Aura software gave us multiple errors during our testing. All of these could be end-user issues, so decide accordingly. To sum up, we like the high-end design on a budget, the premium controllers and components, the high-performance networking, the excellent audio output, and the great VRM performance. On the downside, software experience could be improved, and the BIOS flash feature is not all that intuitive. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Do you think another budget motherboard is better? Check another video where we review the top 5 X570 budget motherboards.